Here we are going to show the I square C for channel 80C in operation to measure the outputs from a three axis analog accelerometer and the uh, I square C for channel 80C is this device here which is 4C as you know we can scan for devices this is 4C and if we go to our ADC DAC application here you'll notice that I've set the radio button here to accelerometer so we can scale accordingly. Now I'll, I will start the thread from the ADC uh, for channel ADC DAC I square C device and if we move it around you'll see the dials move. So let's go ahead and zoom out so you can see the dials. We'll focus in on the dials. These are the Java beans. We have three channels so let's go ahead and move this accelerometer around and you'll see that the meters move around corresponding to the accelerometer. Now in these tests it's very this is a very useful way to learn about the accelerometer and how it operates. So over here we can see the dials. Now if I take the accelerometer, and I'm not showing it in the screen so you can see the dials, and I slowly move it, you can see the dials move accordingly and I can measure position as far as angle. Let me move it in another direction. and of course I can accelerate. So one of the good things is as I put the accelerometer in different positions like horizontal on its side or on a different way on its side I get different readings on the meters. Okay so let's go ahead and just show that. That's one. Move it around and then you can see the meters etc. So this is a great way to get a good feel for the analog accelerometer. It also demonstrates the very uh, usefulness of the I square C ADC four channel ADC and DAC connected to the Java beans, which simultaneously show all three axes in real time. Uh, we're measuring every 300 milliseconds. We can measure even faster. And let's go ahead and shake this guy, and you can see that the needles are moving. Let's go ahead and zoom in. So basically we're showing the four, the three Java beans. The fourth one is set to zero because we're only measuring three axes. So now let me go ahead and put this slowly rotate the accelerometer around. Go to reverse and I'm gonna put it on horizontal. Then I'm gonna put it on one of its sides. Then I'm gonna flip it upside down and put it on one of its other sides so you can see the various measurements depending on how the accelerometer is oriented. This is extremely useful in applications where you need an accelerometer such as on a rover, a CubeSat, or any other application.